Today we're gonna make some spicy chicken strips that you can use in a wrap. That's a good idea and I'm already hungry for a good snack. Let's get started then. It's wrapping time. We have here about a kilo of chicken breast, nice big ones here. So let's just get these separated like this, hold these to the side. And then we're gonna cut them into not too small strips like this. This I might actually split in two. So we get some, let's say, bite-sized pieces. All chopped and nice, and now we're ready to create our spicy marinade. We start with a couple of tablespoons of fresh oregano. We're just gonna roughly chop. Something like that. And over Oh, the cheese. aroma came all the way here. Yeah, 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 this is really, really nice uh, Greek oregano. It's really nice. And then I wanna go in with the juice of a couple of limes. Let me get them cut here. You could use lemon juice for this, uh, or it's almost the same, but I just like lime better. It has more, I don't know, it's a different flavor. We continue with a good squeeze of avocado oil. I don't know how much we're gonna give it, at least a couple of tablespoons here. So we have some good frying oil. A couple of pinches of sea salt. I would say one and a half teaspoon maybe. Teaspoon of black pepper. Freshly cracked, obviously. Very nice. And we're gonna give it some paprika, both for color and taste, two teaspoons of that. And now comes the spicy element, a couple of tablespoons of gochujang. You could use chili flakes if you don't have gochujang, but if you can find it in your Asian supermarket, try it out, it's really good. We have used it before, actually, when we made Korean fire chicken. Yeah, that was pure fire. <laughs> <laughs> and a couple of cloves of garlic. Then we're going to squeeze in here. Oh, that was a healthy one here. Nice. And we want to massage this, but I'm putting on a couple of gloves because with gochujang, your fingers and hands, they will turn red if you do it with, um, with your bare hands. And then get in there and get it all mixed up. And you want the chicken to become really colorful with all of this. And now we want to leave this to a side for half an hour to an hour while we move on with our dressing. For this, we have chosen yogurt as a base, and I have here 500 grams of a good Greek one. Yeah, it's a specialty here anyway. <laughs> Absolutely, and this is a really good one, actually. Get that in, like that. And now comes the shiracha, which we're gonna give a healthy squeeze of that. There we are. Three, four tablespoons of that. A pinch of sea salt pinch of freshly cracked black pepper. And then we're gonna do, I'll start out with the juice of one lime, and then we see, maybe I'll put one more, depends a little bit on the consistency. You don't want this to be too thick at the end, so. Let's try with one, and then we see. Mix that a little bit. I think that'll be fine. Then, a final thing, I'm gonna add a big clove of garlic. Nice. And all we have to do is mix this in. All done, so we're ready to fry our chicken. We are going to use our flat top today. If you don't have a flat top, then use a big pan. Avocado oil, a little bit. We have avocado oil on the chicken, but I don't want it to be without oil here, so spread that around a bit. And then we go in with all our nice chicken here. Spread the, ooh, that smells good.
As you know, never rely only on looks here. We have to check the temperatures. 65, 67, that's perfect. So soft and nice. Ooh, already 73. This is ready to come off. So into a bowl with this and we can wrap this up. Couple of warm tortillas. And then we start out with a little bit of lettuce here. Not too much, don't overdo it, it's green. <laughs> yeah, it's not poisonous. <laughs> no, no, you need to have a crunch here from some uh, nice crispy lettuce. That gives a nice uh, texture to this. Some chopped tomato, flesh only, because otherwise it becomes too wet. So we took out all the wet parts, just a little bit here. And then we're going to go in with some of our beautiful, beautiful chicken here. Look how that looks. It's just gorgeous. The color and this, you should, if, if they had invented smell of vision you should be here because <laughs> this smells really amazing. Next century. Yeah, hopefully. We we'll turn them the other way over here. Going to make a couple. I'm sure you want one also. You said you were hungry. Yeah. Plus, it smells so good, even if I wasn't hungering. <laughs> I get a load of this. This looks good. Then we're going to drizzle this with a little bit of chopped cilantro. Yeah, to balance the spiciness, yeah. maybe. It's optional. If you don't like cilantro, don't use it. But we love cilantro, so for us it's... Basically, you can put anything you want yeah. here. Any veggies, cheeses also if you want, right? Obviously, yeah. You could yeah. add cheese also if you want to. We've chosen not to do that today. Let's and then the our, our beautiful sauce here. Ah, oh, that looks so good. And don't be stingy with this because this is the good stuff that brings the freshness. That looks really good, huh? Yeah, colorful and so nice. Let's see if we can wrap this up <laughs> in a proper way. You can never way. close that. Oh, yes, I can. I'm only going to close it like this. Yeah. And that's. There you have it, one beautiful chicken wrap. I could wrap it, oops, can you stay there so we can eat here? There we go, here is... Try one and see. I'm gonna try the, the one which is disobeying over here. Let me see. You're gonna love this. The chicken is spicy, but not too spicy. And the sauce is so fresh with the yogurt there. This is excellent, fast and easy to make. You should try this out.